How about now? What's up? What's up? Are we on now? Is this thing on? Is this thing on? Really? Still no sound? I think chat is a little bit behind. Okay, there we go. Awesome. Yeah, I think I'm like 10 seconds behind you guys. Cool, 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 cool. All right, I look really shiny for some reason. It's okay. It's just healthy skin, that's all. Really, really healthy skin. All right, you guys are here to watch... Uh, what are we watching? Are we doing a musical tonight? What are we doing? Just kidding, we're doing Star Kid, the guy who didn't like musicals. That's me. I'm the guy who didn't like musicals, and now we're here to watch this thing together. Uh, I hope it's awesome. I'm sure it is. That's the reason you guys all request it. But right before we get into that, I went and checked my P.O. box finally, and there was four items in there. So I want to open these, and we're going to turn this into a video. I thought it would be a good time to do it. So we're going to do it real quick. It's going to take five minutes, and then we'll get the show started. What's up, all you beautiful people? Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host and your metalhead friend, Jace, and I just went and checked my P.O. box again, and some more of you guys sent me some stuff that was in there, and I am just so blown away. I had four packages in there, and I just can't even believe it. I, it, I am so humbled and appreciative of the support and the, just the love that I get from you guys as a community, and I think it's phenomenal, so thank you, thank you. We're going to open these things up right here and see what we got, and I'm going to you know, thank personally uh, whoever it came from, because I don't know. First things first, though, we're going to crack this guy, get in the right mood. Cheers, everybody. So we got this big white package here. I don't know. It's kind of heavy. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Brock's party mix. What are you doing to me? This is not good. My dentist does not approve. I approve, but my dentist does not approve. Who's this from? Is this from you, Steven? Is this from you, Steven? I think it is. I think you told me that this was going to be from you. Thank you, my dude. This was a birthday gift. Thank you, Steven. I appreciate you, my man. I assure you 100% it will go to good use. What is this? Oh no, we got an Amazon package here. What is this? I don't know what this is. Let's see. It's really wrapped up a lot. What is this? Oh. 
trash everywhere. I don't know what this logo is. L. Oh, Leatherman. Oh, I know what this is now. I think. Might need one to open it. Good thing I have my crappy old knife right here. Cut into that thing. This is from you, Steven? Yes. Dude, this thing is awesome. Look at this, you guys. Look at this thing. Steven hooked up a badass multi-tool with hella utility functions on here. This is badass because I just moved to Colorado, in case you don't know, and I go for a bunch of I go on a bunch of hikes and stuff now, and this is a wonderful thing to have, and it feels super sturdy. Steven. You've outdone yourself, my man. Thank you so much, dude. Thing's sharp as hell. Look, I promise not to cut myself on it right now. Thank you so much, man. I promise. It even comes with a carrying case and a belt loop. This thing's going to go to good use, and I'm going to document it and share that with you, man. I appreciate this. This is amazing. This is maybe the nicest little handheld tool maybe I've ever owned. Thank you, dude. That is super awesome, man. Super cool. Your dad has the same one, Orcus. Thank you, Steven. Thank you, man. We got two more quick ones, you guys. I don't know. Two more quick ones, and then we'll get into this. Let's go. We got another little Amazon box here. What is this? Oh, cool. Two rechargeable hand warmers. There's a note in here from Lisa. <laughs> awesome, Lisa. Welcome to Colorado. Enjoy your first winter. Two electronic hand warmers. Rechargeable hand warmers. This is awesome, Lisa. That is super thoughtful. You know what's funny is I just played in a disc golf tournament the, or impromptu league thing the other day, and I was freezing. I was woefully unprepared, and my hands were frozen the whole time. And I didn't bring my little hot hands thing. So these are going to be put to very good use. I promise you. This is awesome. So, so much. I love this. Thank you. Lisa, you're amazing. We got one more. We got one more from Amazon. What is this? I'm not going to soil the new Leatherman on tape and adhesives. We're not going to do that. We're going to use the old crappy knife for this. Okay. Okay. What is this? I'm gonna... Frisbee golf is year-round, Michael. It is constant. Brad. Lucario. Thank you, Brad. Happy birthday. Stay warm and rock on. Thank you, my dude. Let's see. Let's see. Stay warm, he says. Get it. Get in there. Oh, shit. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Brad, no you fucking didn't, bro. Oh, ho, ho, ho. look at this badass shit right here. Oh, look at this fucking thing. Oh, LP all day, baby. Oh, I'm putting it on. I can't not put it on. Bro. Bro. I'm going to rock the shit out of this, my dude. I'm going to rock the shit out of this, Brad. This thing is dope. You know I'm wearing this shit. This is awesome. Oh, I love you guys. All of you. Thank you, Brad. Oh, there's...
Okay, same thing as it said. That's amazing, dude. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, everyone, all of you who just sent me some stuff. I am so, like I said, I'm so blown away and humbled by the support and the love and the everything that I get from you guys. It is so welcome and, and much appreciated, and I thank you so, so kindly. And with that, let's go ahead and get into Star Kid. You guys are amazing. Let's end this video. Peace. All right. I want to wear this. It's actually quite hot in my house. I'm going to open the window so I can keep it on. How about that? And I'll open that window so we can keep this Lincoln Park shit on. Ah, oh, all right. Brad, shit's... Mm, I love it, man. I love it. What do you say, everybody? Name something else I could... Oh, boy. Don't open that can of worms. But I'll think about it. I promise you I'll think about it and get back to you soon. Damn. I should put on shorts. It wasn't hot till I put this sweatshirt on. It's top notch. It's top notch. All right. What do you guys say we start this musical? Let's open this. Let's do a little bit of this. Let's turn off this screen dimmer thing I got. Get out of here. No one has time for you. Ain't nobody got time for that. Headphone check. Let's see. I got to... So a lot of people have never seen this show, and I want to make sure that it is watchable for you all. Like, maybe we'll go, like, this size? I don't know. Then I got to sit. I don't know. Let me see here. What can we do? Hmm. <laughs> what do you guys think is the best way to do this? Yeah, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it like this. I don't know, there's not really a good way to do this. Uh, I could just put it like this, what do you think? That's good. To the right. Do it like this? Yeah, we could do this. We could do this for show. Uh, turn a fan on or something. All right, you guys let me know if that fan gives any feedback on the mic or anything, but we're going to get into it. Let's go. What we're doing tonight, just so everybody knows, reminder, we're watching half of the show tonight. I want to make sure the other folks who are in different time zones have the ability to watch some of this with us also. We're going to finish it tomorrow. Looks like there are 20 songs or scenes, so we're going to watch 10 tonight. I wish we were going to watch 11 because scene 11 is called Fuck Clivesdale. So we're going to watch 10 scenes tonight. You guys ready to sit down and do this? Let's do it. The hoodie is definitely warm. Amazon list. That's a good idea. Amazon list. All right, we're going to get into that. All right. What's up, all you beautiful people? Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host and your metalhead friend, Jace, and we are back to checking out some more musicals on the channel. As you know, on this channel, we go all around the world, and we've checked out all kinds of stuff from heavy metal to solo music to country singers to just, we just do it all. We do it all acapella stuff we're all over the map and recently not too long ago i was introduced to hamilton in the world of musicals we checked out rent and there's a lot of good folks in this community who are passionate about helping me discover why it's so popular and we're here today to check out a musical that was written about me actually it is called the guy who didn't like musicals by the group star kid never heard of them but apparently they're pretty good and they have a whole bunch of stuff here on youtube 
and all over the place. So we're going to check them out. Put your headphones on. We're going to watch Act 1, not Act 1. We're going to watch the first 10 scenes tonight, second 10 scenes tomorrow morning. So come join us. A link, I'll put it on the community page as well. The information will be in the Discord channel. So come join us over there. Link to that will be in the description of this video as well. And you can stay up to date with everything. But let's get into it. I'm going to turn this screen on to like this. Everybody in the chat, is this big enough? Like, I want you guys to be able to watch the show too. That's my thing. Uh, well, we'll watch it here, and link will be in the description if you want to watch it yourself. That's what we're going to do. Let's go! Stories ever told Have a hero who must be bold They learn a sense of right and wrong And better learn the sense through song Musicals tell the impossible They evoke the philosophical yeah. So tonight Chronicle a story so astronomical. The last remaining story to tell. The guy who did a lot of music. Did a did a lot of music. Named Paul. Spends his day surfing the web and not singing and dancing with us all. Should we kill him? Should we kill him? He finds after a kill, the glory stuff. Isn't that worth a show stopping fiesta? Yeah. But for some damn reason, he won't join our singing season. What an ass! What a bitch! What a car! The guy who didn't like musical. Didn't like, didn't like, didn't like a like home. Didn't like, didn't like, didn't like a like home. Didn't like, didn't like, did not like like a like home. He's the guy who didn't like musical. Didn't like, didn't like, didn't like a like home. Didn't like, didn't like, didn't like a like home. Didn't like, did not like like a like home. It's the end of the world, Paul. If you don't sing, don't sing. This is the bridge, Paul. We swear we will teach you what it means to love, what it means to obey all. The apotheosis is upon us. <laughs> Did you hear the word? What's, What's the, the word? word? Yeah. He's a coming. Who's a coming? Paul's a coming. Paul's a coming. The star of the show. For his headlining entrance Time to swoon at his leading menaces His name is in the title He's destined to go viral Here he is, his name is Paul And you know What's up? Come on, Paul fuck is he? Okay, uh, yeah, that was weird. 
totally weird. You guys weren't kidding. I'll try to catch up on chat here real quick. Is that Anna Kendrick? No, dude, that's Lauren Lopez, obviously. We put the fun in dysfunctional. Hey, don't say it's sorry for it's being weird. Let's go. Let's see what's up. The Office. Come on, guy. Come on, guy. Hey, Paul. Yeah? I was trying to print something. I think I might have sent it to your printer. Yep. Uh, just remember, uh, you want to print from the HP laser jet, not the HP inkjet. Right. Sorry, Paul. It's fine. <laughs> hey, Paul. Paul. Can I get those reports on my desk by the end of the day? Yes, Mr. Davidson. Great. <laughs> Hi, Paul. Hey, Melissa. Uh, were you going to sign up for the company softball league? No. Oh. Uh, Paul sucks. Well, it, it might be fun. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to, though. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, Mr. Davidson wants those reports on his desk by the end of the day. Will do. Dude, Nick. Thank you, man. Absolutely, I can do falsettos, man. Thank you for the support, my dude. That's amazing. Thank you. Cheers, man. Y'all blow me away, for real. And I saw one other thing. Tom, I can say I don't, I don't know the cast names, actually. I just saw the comment right under his said it's Lauren Lopez. I was just reading the comment, that's all. Nick, thank you, man, so much, dude. Sorry I had to pause it. I saw that pop up, and damn. Oh, uh, Mr. Davidson wants those reports on his desk by the end of the day. Will do. Oh. CZRP Technical, this is Charlotte. How can I help? Oh, hi, Sam. How are things down at the precinct? Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, my day's been you... Uh-huh. Oh, well, how late? Well, but, but sweetheart, it's... Sweetheart, it, it's cuddle night. Cuddle night? <laughs> Woo! Well, what do you mean, so what? The counselor says we should do it at least once a month. <laughs> yes, but, yes, but honey, we, we skipped last month. Well, don't you think I'm tired, too? All right, maybe tomorrow night then, huh? No, no, no you're right. We should stick to the schedule. That Next sounds month, miserable. Please. All right, well, you take care, Sam. And Sam, be careful because I love you. <laughs> Sam? Oh, that's horrible. Huh. Damn. Hmm. It's cuddle night. She's just trying to get some uh, love Sam. from her hubby. Damn. He's doing just fine. Townsend's working out real swell. Michael. Oh, oh, uh, Sh Charlotte? Uh, sh I'm sorry, you can't smoke in here. Huh? Oh! I didn't even realize. Mm. It's okay. She's shaking so bad. Well, I'm gonna go get some coffee for beanies. Anyone wanna come? Bill? I can't. I gotta keep refreshing this web page. <laughs> that sounds like See, my I got Alice time. for one more night before she goes home to Clivesdale. Her mother, just to make me look small, took her all the way to New York to see Hamilton. Ugh. And she ah. loved it. Hell yeah. So, to prove to my ex-wife that two can play at that game, I'm on hot ticks right now. And the moment more become available, I'm getting two tickets for tonight. Because guess what, Paul? It's finally here at the old Starlight Theater in downtown Hatchetfield. The touring production of Mamma Mia! <laughs> wow, she'll like that just as much as Hamilton. It's a musical! No. Mm -hmm. Hey, you wanna tag along? Alice will get a kick out of it. Remember when you used to babysit her, drive her to school? Yeah. She thinks you're cool. Maybe you could talk me up a bit. Let her know her old dad's pretty cool, too. <laughs> Bill, no. <laughs> Sorry. You got other plans? Uh, no. So you'd, you'd rather do nothing than come with us to see Mamma Mia? Bill, I'd rather do anything than go see Mamma Mia. The idea of sitting there trapped in a musical, that is my own personal hell. 
I've said the exact same thing at, you know, at points in my life. That is funny. This is about me, guys. This is about me. I'm so glad you guys, Star Kid, made this show about me. I'm trying to reconnect with my teenage kid, and you're just going to leave me hanging? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, but hey, I'll grab you something from Beanie's. My treat. What do you want? I just want my daughter back. How about a nice caramel frap? Nothing better. Hey, you going to Beanie's? Yeah. You didn't invite me? Sorry, Ted, do you want to come? No, 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 no. <laughs> I don't want to show you up, yeah? What do you mean? Paul, come on. I know why you walked that extra block instead of just going to Starbucks across the street. I don't want to give my money to some corporate chain. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Hey, somebody answer the phone, you please. You sure it doesn't have anything to do with that cute little barista over there, huh? Eh? That's not the reason. <laughs> yeah, the uh, latte hotte. She's uh, known throughout the land, right? No, it's like my wife, <laughs> right? My wife. <laughs> it's like oh, all right, buddy. Hey, give me a chai iced tea, eh? Hey. Yeah. <laughs> my wife. Hi, can I help you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I get a grande caramel frap and a venti cup with ten pumps of hazelnut, three shots of espresso, no caramel drizzle with whip on top? Sure, that'll be five fifty. Jesus, fine. Hey. Yeah. I just tipped you. Oh, well, thank you. Aren't you supposed to sing? The sense is different for a song. <laughs> yeah, um, that's like a new thing. The owner went to Cold Stone Creamery over the weekend and brought back the whole singing thing. But my second job in high school was at Cold Stone Creamery, and people love to do that shit. Tip you so you sing a stupid song. Ugh, we'll talk about that later, but that's PTSD. You know, there's a went to Cold Stone Creamery over the weekend and brought back the whole singing thing. But, you know, there's a line and people are working. I don't want to disturb anyone. <laughs> I don't care, I just tipped you, come on. Okay, well, did you do that to be nice or did you do it to be an asshole? Fine, I'll take it back then. Oh no, what am I gonna do without that dollar? I have to split with five other people. You know what? I'm never coming back here again. That sign's bullshit. Oh my God, it's so mean. Yeah, I love her. I love it. Emma, what's the deal over here? That guy just flipped out on me for practically no reason. She wouldn't sing for him. And I still haven't gotten my hot chocolate. Oh, sorry, I'll get right on that. I have very low blood sugar. <laughs> I'm, I'm so sorry, sir, we'll get you a voucher. Jesus, Emma, come on, I already warned you twice. It's embarrassing, Nora. I mean, God, maybe Zoe's okay with the whole singing thing because she majored in theater. I think it's a really fun idea, Nora. Why aren't you working? Oh, I'm on vocal rest? What? I'm on vocal rest? <laughs> God damn it, Emma, now I need to make a tea with honey, okay? Oh my God. <laughs> Look, can't Zoe just do the singing? I don't like it. Huh. Okay. So then you must not like having a job here then. Hmm? You know what? Just don't even bother showing up for your next shift. What, are you serious? Wait, 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 wait. Wait. I will do the singing. Yeah, you will. Now move your ass, you got a line. Let's see it. Hi, can I help you? Uh, yeah, I got an easy one for you. Just a cup of black coffee. <laughs> Jesus, really? I've been brewing up oh, your Oh, no, 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 uh, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, no, uh, I don't need you to sing. I just tipped because, you know, uh, uh, people should tip. That's right. Well, thank you. I mean, because if I have to sing for it, it's not really a tip, right? Yeah. It's just like I have another shitty paying job on top of my already shitty paying job. Because, I mean, most of my tips are less than a buck. So after the split, I'm making, like, not even 25 cents a song. That is less than a fucking jukebox. Only a jukebox doesn't also have to make coffee for these assholes. Oh, not that you're an asshole. Well, maybe you are. What'd you tip? Five bucks? You meant this just for me, right? Like, I don't have to split this with anyone. Oh, no, that's for you. I don't give a shit about them. <laughs> that's right. It's very sweet. God, I'm just so sick of Nora and Zoe who is technically my manager, even though she is 10 years younger than me. Ugh. She hired all of her little theater friends and they will not shut the fuck up <laughs> about some shitty production of I Godspell can, they did last I summer. I can tell she's got a good voice. Oh, that was the one at the rec center, right? 
I think I had to see that. Ugh. I did not like it. Yeah. <laughs> it sucked, right? Yeah, yeah, they shouldn't call it God's spell, more like God awful. Yeah, or like God damn, that was bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like musicals. Uh, watching people sing and dance makes me very uncomfortable. Oh. Yeah, buddy. Well, then why did you come to the singing coffee shop? You know, there's a Starbucks across the street. Oh, uh, well, you know, uh, some things are worth it. Like, uh, damn good coffee. <laughs> I see you in here all the time, don't I? What's your name? Paul. Hi, Paul. I'm Emma. Excuse me! <laughs> Get out of here, bro. I have been waiting a very long while. Sorry, sorry. Uh, okay, uh, bye, Emma. <sighs> Emma. Shut the fuck oh, up. Oh, shoot, I forgot Bill's caramel frap. Ah, fuck Bill. <laughs> Hi, can I talk to you about saving the planet? No. no. Do, you, um, do you have a few minutes to talk about saving the planet? Uh, hello. Hey. Hi. Are you interested in saving the planet? Uh, uh, yes, I am, but I just got off work. Well, you I'm know, ready. it'll just take a few minutes. It's for the planet. So. Yeah. I just want to I... tell you about how you can contribute to Greenpeace's efforts all around the globe. Oh, Greenpeace? Yeah. You know what? I I'm actually already signed up with you guys. I already give. Oh, well, that's really generous of you. Do you know about our new campaign to save the sea turtles? Yeah, yeah, I've been getting the emails, been reading all about it. Really? Yeah. Uh, the campaign that doesn't exist, the one that I just made up? You don't give to Greenpeace, do you? You know that money you're raising? You know how much of it actually goes to the turtles? Well, none of it, I just made that up. That's right, none. <laughs> it goes to line the pockets of some corporate bigwigs. I give my money directly to the people who need it. Oh, spare change for the homeless? Sorry, I don't have anything. <laughs> wow, you're a real humanitarian. And you come on a little strong with that whole save the planet bit, as if I'm gonna do that single-handedly. Well, you know what? What is that? Oh, heavens to Betsy. There's some kind of terrible storm out there. I hope Sam's all right. Fuck Sam. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's all over the place. Come back to bed, all right? All right, Ted, but this has to be the last time. Sure, Charlotte, just like last time was the last time. If you don't like what we're doing here, there's the door. Oh, God, cherry on top of an already perfect day. Zoe, you need a ride? In your shitty car? Yeah, I'd rather not crash and die. It's fine, thank Great. you. Bye. Excuse me, ma'am, but I got a warrant to inspect the junk in your trunk. Oh, Sam, you're such an asshole, okay? Oh, well, that's Sam. That uniform is so fucking sexy. Hey, uh, I have a little present for you. These two tickets to Mamma Mia. No way. You got them? I never miss a musical at the Starlight. And if anyone thinks that makes me less of a man, they can talk to my fucking gun. <laughs> <laughs> Holy hell, it's raining cats and dogs. Are you sure you don't want me to pick you up? Okay. Yes, I got a ticket for Deb. And after the show, we're going to go to your favorite restaurant. Red Lobster! Yeah, I know Deb's a vegetarian, they got fish. <laughs> Vegan? Uh, it's Crab Fest! Alice, you're killing me! All right, Dad, well, we'll meet you at the theater, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Take a hit, Alice! Uh, I don't think I oughta. <laughs> Look, she doesn't have to if she doesn't want to, okay? Oh, come on, Deb, that's not how it works! You're either in the smoke club or you're out! <laughs> Okay, well then maybe we're out. Come on, Alice, these guys are assholes anyway. What's happening? What's that coming to the cloud? Meteor. Good God! Alexa! It's happening. <laughs> Come on, you bastard. You don't think I'm ready for you? Alexa. I've been waiting in the wings. The stage is set. It's showtime. This is, I don't know what's happening right now. Is this even a musical? First of all, the one homeboy, he's been, like the one guy's already been like seven characters. This is crazy. I'm having fun with this though. It's certainly interesting for sure. And I like the story and they're making me laugh. So all good. 
This is the morning Hatchetfield News with Dan and Donna. They said he wouldn't make it, that he had fallen from too great a height. But this little guy beat the odds and captured our hearts. Now weighing in at almost 10 ounces, peanuts. The Hatchetfield pocket squirrel has outgrown his adopted father's pocket. Peanuts! <laughs> Luckily, proud Papa Ed has been squirreling away on his GoFundMe page to build Peanuts his very own, get this Dan, squirrel house. <laughs> That's amazing. And something else has fallen to the ground here in Hatchetfield, this time from outer space. The meteor came... <laughs> Bruh! Sorry, I gotta get another beer before this starts. See how fast that was? That was just pure, raw, unfiltered athleticism. Or came. <laughs> Sorry. How's it, Sting? I don't like that guy. I don't like this guy. <laughs> Seems like a lot. Or... Hey, did you say? I can oh, play this baseline. Again. Look, I'm not a bad guy, okay? I've given to charity for the past. Hey, yeah, it's a typical day. What? Got me feeling in a beautiful way. No rhyme or reason. We can sing a duet. A dance a style or two. Or I'll make you a bet. Just a smile will do. Sometimes I just want to shout on top of roofs and mountaintops. So all the world is paved in gold. I'll see you in this too. Yesterday was retroactive, got myself a new perspective I'm strutting up and down the road So I throw my worries and my old skin away Doing what I want to on this la-dee-da-da -da day La-dee-da-da, la-dee-da-da, la-dee-da-da day La-dee-da-da day, la -dee -da 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 -day. La -dee -da -da -day. For the homeless? Sorry, man, I don't have anything. Hey, man, that's all right. Because I may not have a home. But that's way okay. Because I prefer to roam the streets all day. The world is my house. The dogs are my food. Oh, look a new blouse. The and a new trash can do. I used to want to kill them all while high on mass on zombie trucks. I'm stacking on a dead man's face. What? But that just feels like yesterday's song Takes all the pain away My politics and house feels changed Dancing on the concrete Used to hurt a lot But now I got new feet And this jam just way too hard I'm gonna go Thank you. Thank God bless you, man. Um, uh, what's happening? I'm very confused and concerned by all of this. I... Do you want to save the planet? Don't you want to save the planet? Do you want to save the planet? There's just one way you can do it. Like singing a song. Singing a song. Singing a song. la dee da 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 la dee da dee da dee da 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 da
I can't read the chat and watch at the same time. That's why I got to pause between between this these pieces. That girl who was just the main part there. I'm not mortified at all. I promise you that. I'm not mortified. I'm just confused. I'm definitely confused. Which one is Lauren Lopez? Is that the girl who just had the main part there? Was that Lauren Lopez? Because she's got some pipes, you can tell. I don't think she unleashed them yet, but you can tell. And I want to hear the other girl. Yeah, the petition girl. I want to hear the other girl who's working at the coffee shop. I hope she's got a, you know, a prominent role. Because I, just from her one little, shut the fuck up. That part, I could tell she's got some pipes. I did it again. Okay. 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 Yeah, he's like, what the hell just happened? Okay. Now, I, I get that Alice is 18. She's a senior. She's got her own life. But I only get my daughter for one week a month, and she wants to spend that whole time with her girlfriend, Deb. So I say, bring Deb along. We'll all go see the show. And would you believe it? We get there, and the whole theater was exploded by a goddamn meteor. <laughs> Mamma mia! <laughs> Huge hole right through the marquee and everything. I, can you believe that, Charlotte? Sh 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 Charlotte, you, you, you got enough coffee and the sugar? Huh? Oh, I didn't even realize. Sorry, I'll make another pot. Coffee and the sugar. <laughs> Bill, you're a riot. I love the cat sweatshirt. Coffee and the okay. sugar. Okay. 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 Bill, what is happening? Hey, guys. Uh, is today some kind of, uh, I don't know, Canadian holiday or something? Like, uh, <laughs> International Music Day or... Not that I know of. Okay. Because I just, um, <laughs> I just saw some people uh, uh, dancing and, s and singing like they were in a, a musical. Uh, there was this homeless guy and this very rude woman from Greenpeace doing this whole choreographed number. Like a flash mob? Yeah. I mean, what else could it have been, right? Well, did you get a video of it? No. <laughs> You're fucking useless, Paul. This guy. Yeah. I, I just have a bad feeling about all this. Uh, Charlotte? Huh? Have you noticed anything strange? What? No. Oh, it's silly. Um, it's just, um, it's Sam. What? My husband. Um, uh. He said he was coming home late last night. <laughs> he didn't get home at all. But <laughs> <coughs> uh, I heard I wasn't there. Um, well, he must have rolled in around him six this morning. He was in the shower when I woke up. I could hear him. He was singing. And well, I know this is a strange thing to realize because well, but Sam's not a, a, a bad singer. He's just always been a little flat. <laughs> but not this morning. Today, he sounded like an angel. <laughs> and I don't know why, but it, it frightened me. It just, it didn't sound like my Sam. Oh, I must sound silly. I'm probably just imagining things. Sh Charlotte? Do you remember what Sam was singing? Um, it, it was just a, a silly little song. Um, and something like a, um, la, di, da, da, day. Paul, Mr. Davidson wants to see you in his office. Oh, shoot, I forgot to hand in my weekly reports yesterday. I'm gonna get it. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I can do that part. Hey, Mr. Davidson. I think I know why you called me in here today. My weekly reports were not turned in yesterday. Not because they're not done. They are done. There's a problem with the printer network, you see. You try to print something over here, it gets sent over there. I bet my report is sitting in someone else's printer tray right now. You give me to the end of the day, I can find it. Not do it. Uh, I, I wouldn't just not do my statistical analysis. <laughs> that would really gum things up here in the office, and that's the last thing I want. 
What do you want, Paul? Excuse me? Tell me what you desire to see Your deepest intent, Paul <laughs> What do you see for this company? I'm looking for someone with strong ambition Someone to sell their specific vision Someone to share with precise precision Their thoughts Cause I want you to want <laughs> To want So what do you want, Paul? <laughs> What's that one concrete goal that motivates all your actions? I don't think I have one of those. Well, then how's anyone supposed to sympathize with you, Paul? I don't know. I want money. I want you, you to want, Paul. A man so vague just can't be trusted. Something you pine for. Mr. Davidson? Maybe someone who keeps you lusted. I'm just a boss. I'm not an idea guy. I hire you, Paul, to keep our stock high. But if you can't pin that point that's in the sky then I want you to want <laughs> to want do you know what I want for myself <laughs> okay I've waited for so long to tell somebody else Carol my wife you're my muse my source of light Carol my love, I want you to choke me out at night. Uh -huh. I want you to choke me. This seems like a private moment. I want you to choke me. Like, who is this for? I want you to choke me while I jerk off. I want you to choke me while I jerk off. Melissa, get my wife on the phone for me. Mr. Davidson, I think I should leave. No, Paul, I want you to hear this. If you leave, you're fine. <laughs> Carol. Yes, everything's fine, I promise. I just uh, wanted to tell you something. I, uh... Mm. <laughs> I, uh... I forgot what it was. <laughs> Maybe someday I'll remember. Goodbye. What just happened? Paul, now you know what it is to want. I want to go home. It consumes a man with a passion to drive the primary plot. So take up yoga or improv classes, volunteer at shelters or twitch to the masses. There's gotta be something that'll keep my hands off you, off you, because I want you to want. Mr. Davidson, I'm gonna get some coffee. You want anything? No, I need you to want. Have a nice, careful prop, not the bad. And if you don't want, <laughs> we're through. Paul? 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 Paul. these lyrics who wrote these lyrics I love it I didn't expect that I, the whole thing what a weird twist but I do think there's some sort of message in there right not the whole choke me while I jerk off thing hey you're into what you're into right whatever but the you I need you to want something like what's that concrete idea or concrete desire that motivates your actions that's pretty important there I think for especially for someone in his you know if your boss my boss asked me that before like what do you want here and then we set it up I think it's pretty cool in life to think about that what do you want so that you can take steps to get there and document it and have attainable goals I think it's very important and uh it's not just comical but the one part was comical okay 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 all right this isn't happening Okay, 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 all right, this isn't happening. Get a grip, Paul. You're hallucinating. Better yet, you're still dreaming. You need to wake up. You need some coffee, that's it. Just a nice cup of black coffee. Nothing in it, no cream, no sugar, just black coffee. <sighs> Hello? <laughs> Hello? Please, God, I just want a black coffee. Black coffee, 
I'm your coffee guy. No! No! Not you too, Emma. Please, God, stop singing. Okay, okay, I'll stop. Oh, I didn't forget. You're the guy who doesn't like musicals, Paul, right? <laughs> Emma, you're talking to me. Like a normal person. Uh, yeah, and if my boss catches me, I'll get canned. Uh, new company policy. Not only do we have to sing when people tip, but when they enter, when they order, all the time, apparently. Emma, I think there's something terribly wrong with the world today. Oh, yeah, world fucking tell me musical. about it. Oh, no. <laughs> Spent the entire morning learning some dumbass new tip song. I'm exhausted. Do you... Emma, 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 Emma. <laughs> I feel like there's something sinister infecting Hatchetfield. And I know this is gonna sound crazy, and not very scary, but it is scary <laughs> if you think about the implications. <laughs> promise me you'll think about the implications. Okay, okay, I promise. Okay, Emma, I think the world is becoming a musical. Um, Don't say I, anything. Uh, Let it sink in. Okay. Okay, now. Are you frightened? Uh, yeah, I think I am starting to get a little frightened. Yeah, I should be. Right, Paul, you just sit down and wait. Emma! Tim! Oh, thank God. Sorry, Paul, I gotta do this no. dumbass tip song. No. Oh, sorry. Get your cup of roasted coffee, your morning cup of joey. We'll make a jam and cup of java mocha latte with the froth for you, Jack. Frappuccino with the freshly roasted mung beans. It's a caramel drizzle mud in a cup. With a drip, 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 and we'll bring it right up. Hey, Mr. Business, how do you do? Can we get a triple for you? Decaf? What? what? Decaf? What? this job, I signed up to serve coffee and cold, shitty pastries. If I wanted to be in a musical, I'd be in a damn musical. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Zoe. I was in Brigadoon in high school, and I fucking killed it. Brigadoon! But now, I'm just trying to make ends meet while I work my way through community college, and I can do that just as easily <laughs> down the street. At Starbucks, I quit. You, you can't, can't quit, quit Emma. Emma. Yeah, I sure as hell can. <laughs> the song is so simple. <laughs> we'll teach it to you. <laughs> Why, everyone here will be singing it soon. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> they all have their coffee. Their apotheosis will be upon them at any moment. <laughs> Wait, what did you do to their what coffee? What's happening? Uh, fucking gross. What is that? Get your cup of poison coffee. What is this? What is this? The toxic cup of joey. What? We'll make a twisted cup of java mocha latte with the goo for you, Jack. Jack, Jack, Jack. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. I don't understand it. Like, what the hell is going on? Did they say they put mung beans in there? Somebody give me a definition for apotheosis.
But did they say they put mung beans in the coffee? The only other time I've heard of mung beans, mung beans is from from freaking uh, Creed in the office. This guy I'm growing mung beans in my desk. They stink to high heavens, but they're very nutritious. <laughs> Again, I do it every time. Stupid. Oh, it's Emma, through here. Through here, Emma. What? Through no, here, it's too narrow. No, trust me. I, I used to live around here. It's a, a, an alleyway near where I used to live. It's, it's nobody will follow us here. Who, whose decision was it to line an alleyway with tons of shrubs? No. I heard it was like. At one point, they were gonna make it into a park. And what? Yeah, they, they were gonna make it into Listen, a park, and they just stopped. Paul, there are a th lot of dead ends around here. I just want to make sure you, you know where you're going. No, or, yeah. So. Are you? There's a dead end here. Oh. So. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Just go the other way again. All right, fine, fine, fine. So, uh, I know this is probably a bad time, but uh, uh what do you like? Do you like film? But yeah, you know what? That is, it like... is a bad time. <laughs> wait. Paul. Oh wait, an alley. How did yeah, I miss the, that? The, the, the trash cans. Okay. Go. Oh my god, what the fuck was that? I told you it was scarier than it sounds. You were right. I didn't think about the implications. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't think about it! Emma, told Emma, you. Emma, shh. It's all right, okay? No! no! It's not all right, Paul! Bill! You scared the shit out of us. Well, how the hell am I supposed to pop out of a trash can and not scare the shit out of you? <laughs> I don't know. Give us a warning or something next time, you know? Ah! Charlotte! Sorry, I tried to warn you. Oh my god! <laughs> Who are these people? They're my friends from work. What are they doing in the trash? Well, we had to find a place to hide. Mr. Davidson's kept calling people into his office and they kept coming out singing. Yeah, it was oh, the same at the no. bank, the butchers, and the post office. It's all downtown. We were just at Beanie's. Ah! Ah! You didn't invite me! Jesus, Ted! <laughs> shh, shh, shh. Shut the fuck up, Paul! All right? If you want to stay in our hiding spot, you gotta be quiet, all right? There is something going on, and we don't know what it is or who we can trust. So, Paul, get in a trash can. You beat it. Uh, fuck you? No, I no. like her. Emma stays with us. I don't know her. Yeah, you do. She's the... She's the barista from Beanie's, the, you know, the... The, the latte hotte. <laughs> Paul, that is not the latte hate. That's the crabby one who won't sing when I tip her. You grabbed the wrong one, you noodle. Fuck! Oh, oh thank God. They're here. I, I called Sam. He'll get us out of this. Sam, sweetheart. Sam, baby. Oh, Sam, thank God you're here. They've gone crazy. Everyone's gone crazy. <laughs> I need you to take a step back. Huh? You're facing the law, not the clerk at the get app. Yeah, we're cops. Oh. Yeah, we're cops. You better shape on up. Get away from Charlotte. He's one of them. Oh. You better empty out all of them pockets. But don't empty out all of them pockets. Yeah, we're cops. Yeah, we're cops. And we make sense. <laughs> Show me your hands. Show me those jazz hands. Get oh on my God. Own, or you'll end up in cops. Show me those hands, show me what those hands, hands, or I might be inclined to shoot you up. Okay, look, in my ID's in my back pocket. Give you a 40 in a 35. Check your mirror, and you'll find hell has arrived. Cause we're cops. Yeah, we're cops. We're up in your shit. We're up in your shit. Ah, uh, Kathy lost her cat in a tree. Contact five, not the HFPDE. Cause we're cops. Never cops. Her cat is dead. Show me your hands. Show me those jazz hands. Get them up or you'll end up in cops. Show me those hands. Show me those jazz hands. Or I might be inclined. Step away from the vehicle. Step away from the vehicle. Get back in the vehicle. Get back in the vehicle. Slowly get out of the vehicle. Slowly get out of the vehicle. The things I say, I'm a cop. Get those Support hands up! Get Stop those hands up! Put those hands up! Got a 411 
out at a shopping mall, better pack your heat utility belt. Any more rats coming in hot, they mail. Sorry, Sergeant Wife, I want one. What a bitch wants, Sarge. She wants snow. Grab your 9 millimeter and sell enough bucket for my badge. Now I'm putting your mouth in. Suck it! Sam, sweetheart, I'm your wife. Sam, baby, just talk to me. Charlotte. Okay? Downtown is fucked. The hospital is downtown. We can't go there. Somebody needs to see a doctor. He needs to see a doctor. Sam, we gotta get Um, okay, okay, okay. Oh, oh, okay, okay. I know where we can go. I have this, like, kooky, reclusive biology professor. Professor Higgins! Yes, I'm his favorite student because I brought him groceries once. Anyway, um, he has a doctorate. That's kind of like a doctor, right? He could help your husband, probably. Um, and he's got like a lab in his house and his security. His whole house is like a panic room. He's like a, um, what do you call a guy that lives in a fortress? A king. No, no, he's uh -huh. like a, um, a doomsday survivalist. Yes, he thinks the world is ending. He's been preparing for the last 20 years for the apocalypse. The apocalypse? Is that what this is? Maybe we should go to a church. No, 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 We are all from different denominations, all right? We cannot split up. I am a Presbyterian. I'm not gonna die in your dirty ass Methodist church, all right? I say we go to the panic room and we beg for the king's help. Charlotte, I think the best thing for all of us, including Sam, would be to get to the professor. Yeah, well, let's go now. We can take the squad car. Uh, help me with him. I don't need to see him, thanks. Ah, uh, I think I like the cop song the best so far. That was pretty funny. It was pretty funny. Let me try to catch up on some chat here real quick. We got uh, we got two more scenes tonight. Welcome everybody to the chat. What's the F for? F in the chat for her cat? Yeah, yeah. R.I.P. Rip. Muffin. Muffins. So far, one song so far absolutely slapped on the bass, and then the cop song was pretty good. I like it. I like it. Do what I say. I'm a cop. We're cops. We're cops. No, we're doing more. Half tonight, half tomorrow. Have to do it. Everybody in Europe complains at me about how I never do a chat when a stream when they can do it. So we're doing it on a Saturday in the middle of the day. So hopefully they can make it. It's, I have to do it. If the first 11 parts is Act 1, then we'll do that. It doesn't say on YouTube. But we'll maybe go through 11. Uh, this is my however many beers. I'm going to use the restroom. Intermission. 30 30-ish seconds. Something like that.
Zyra, come here. Act two starts after show stopping number. Let me see. Show stopping number is number 16. And then act two is only four after that. Okay, yeah, we'll. S no, it's got to be part 11. I'll stop after 11. I've seen that a few times. 16. Show stopping numbers like at the very end. That's number 16. There's like 12 minutes left after that. Yeah, I know. I'm going to I'm stopping at 10 like I originally planned. I I believe you Bethany and Jillian. All right. Boom. We're starting after part 11. And I love all of you. Let's go. I'm in such a good mood right now. You guys put me in a good mood. Yeah, Act 2 starts halfway through the next show that I watch. This is Hatchetfield Action News with Dan and Donna. What began as a series of isolated incidents has escalated into what some are calling a musical riot. Good God! Good God! It's spreading faster than I theorize. Despite several reports of violence, the Hatchetfield police have assured Channel 9 that there is no cause for alarm. Because they're part of it, Donna! Nevertheless, our skittish neighbors in Clivesdale have raised the Nantucket Bridge. With the ferries down for the season and no accessible means off the island, Hatchetfield citizens are advised to stay indoors. Like fish in a barrel. <laughs> of course, the outside world is no help. It's up to us now, Alexa. Don't talk. I Google, don't say that. <laughs> Who is it? Professor Hitchens! Don't lie to me, whoever you are. I'm Professor Hitchens. <laughs> <laughs> no. What? Oh my god. Who is it? Professor Hitchens! Don't lie to me. I'm Professor. Come on. I feel like this is damn airplane or something. I'm Professor Hitchens. <laughs> so stupid. It's a dad joke. No. I love it. Professor, it's me, Emma Perkins. The whole town has gone crazy. I didn't know where else to go. Emma! You've come to the right place. Hold on, I'll let you in. Alexa, open the gates. Oh my God. Oh, thank you, Professor. Thank you. Oh, these are my friends. This is Paul and them. Uh, we came from downtown. Now listen, this is going to sound crazy, but everyone- Singing and dancing like a musical. They want you to join them, and once they get you, you're a part of it. Uh, yeah, how did you know? Hold on, is that what's happening? Is that, is this what's happening to me? You people. Join them and once mm. they get you, you're a part of it! Uh, yeah, how did you know? I theorized this exact scenario 30 years ago. <laughs> really? Really! Like exactly this? Exactly! that the world would become a musical. You'd better believe it. <laughs> Wait, so, so that's what's wrong with Sam? Good God, don't tell me you brought one of them here. Oh! I told you we should have left him in the alley. He's a monster, Ted. No, he's a monster. All right, everybody, <laughs> calm down. <laughs> Providence has brought him to me. Quickly, cuff him to the chair, make sure he's secure. There's no telling what would happen if he were awake and loose. I've been preparing for this day for decades. Now all of the answers are right in front of me. If only I have the wits to decipher them. All right. Oh. Nice. Oh. Now, tell me, Emma, what on earth does that look like to you? Oh, God. Um, 
I don't know, some kind of blue shit? <laughs> exactly, Emma! Yeah. It's blue shit! What the fuck is this shit? I love it! This guy is the most quotable so far, by far. He is the most quotable. I need to start just... I might get that quote on the shirt. What the fuck is this shit? Would you guys buy that t-shirt? I would buy that t-shirt in a second. Exactly, Emma! <laughs> what the fuck is this shit? <laughs> That's stupid! I'll tell I love you it. what on earth it looks like. It's crazy. Nothing. You all remember that meteor that crashed into the Starlight Theater last night? I dare say it carried a deadly cargo. A contagious pathogen of cosmic origin. Wait a this second, guy is Doc. So Don't intense. tell me you're talking I about love him. aliens. Why is that so hard to believe? Think of all that we take for granted now that was once foretold in the pages of Bradbury and Asimov. Look no further than my robot assistant, Alexa. <laughs> once confined to the realm of science fiction, she is now science fact. Alexa, dim the lights. <laughs> Extraordinary. <laughs> 20 years ago, I would have had to walk all the way to the dimmer. Hey, Google, set lights to blue. <laughs> now, hey. as unbelievable as this or the outbreak may seem, the question is no longer can this be happening. But how do we stop it? I've got to get this blue shit beneath a microscope to find out what makes these bastards tick. Uh, sorry, Professor. This is a lot to take in. Uh, do you have anything to take the edge off? Like, a drink or something? <laughs> Young man, for the past 27 years, I have been stockpiling the bare essentials needed for human survival in the event of a world-ending cataclysm. Of course I have. You bet your ass we got yeah. blues. Come with me. Yeah. yeah. Sam, baby. Oh. Come on, Charlotte. I'll yeah. make you a drink. We can relax, talk, fuck. Dad, I can't believe you're thinking about that at a time like this. The whole world could be coming to an end. Oh, well, yeah. Well, if what I'm else? gonna die, I'm gonna go out doing the thing I love. Yeah. Screwing around with another man's wife. <laughs> Dad, you're such a horny Not. bastard. <laughs> always have been, always will be. And you know that's why I can't resist you. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. Dad, my husband's brains fell out today. If I can't be a wife to him now. What kind of woman am I? I don't know, Charlotte. I'm not your therapist. <laughs> you know, maybe you should go back to fucking him. Hmm? I know that's why you actually went to counseling. I mean, that's not the only reason. I wanted to make things work with Sam. I love him. I know I shouldn't, but I do. No, Charlotte, this guy is a scumbag, all right? You could upgrade to a sleazeball. <laughs> Upgrade to the sleaze ball. But you refuse to be happy. You know what, Charlotte? I'm done. All right, so you could stay here with your dying marriage and your dying husband. Jesus. I'm gonna go hit on that crabby barista. Wait, no, Ted! Wait! Oh God! Oh God! God! If you're up there and you can hear me. It's me, Charlotte. Look, you just gotta know it. I didn't want any of this to happen. I, I love Sam, and I, I know we've had our problems, and I know I've been so angry with him lately, but, but I didn't want him to die. Please, God, just, just let him wake up. Just let him wake up. Oh, no. Charlotte. <laughs> Holy shit! Where am I? Why am I tied to a chair? Um, it's for your own safety, Sam, and ours. You're not well, Sam. Charlotte, baby, I'm hurt real bad. Um, I need a doctor. Um, uh, uh, I'll go get the professor. No! Yeah. <laughs>
Now hand me those keys. No. The keys no. to Why our you? youth. <laughs> God, we were young once. Innocent and fun once. And free. Let go of this grip on me. You tied up my heart. You tied me down. Now break me open with your love and mercy. Charlotte, you're breaking my heart, child. Got my feet to the fire. Just let me go, and I love you. I love you too, Sam, but I, I cannot let you go. Charlotte, on, baby, apple of my eye. Don't you twist me. I effed up, Charlotte. Effed up with you. All the booze and harlots. Harlots. And all the Charlottes. But they didn't count. They couldn't break me. You're the one who caged me in chains. Please take away my pain. Charlotte! Let me hold you again, Charlotte. Just free of my you a good massage the shot I Will you ever forgive me? I'll crawl on my hands and knees If you want to me, girl And free of my heart This is kind of catchy, Sam No, 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 I gotta go get the other Sam This is bad Help Oh, fuck, I'm fading fast I think you better come quick I really don't want to die alone in here Time to say our goodbyes at the end of the road Goodbye. Uh, No, no, Sam, you'll be alright, just hold on This body is not gonna last The air is cold and thick I'm losing my last remaining hope for us My hands are tied in knots And I can't come home I want to die in your arms in the evening Alone What have I done? What have I done? No, Sam, what have I done? No. Oh, what have I done? Shine! You brought me back to my dead child. My leg was in red. I saw God. And he told me, girl, to free up my heart. Oh, 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 I'm gonna free up your heart, baby. Yes, Tim. Oh my God! God. Fuck! The hell is going on? The fuck? Uh, one more scene in song? No, I think it's two more. Oh yeah, one more. And the next one's dope. Looks dope. It's called Fuck Clivesdale. What just happened? We gotta talk about this for a second. I gotta read the chat. Because I gotta know what the fuck just went down in that scene. He died twice. 
it gets weirder. This is great. This is right up my alley. You guys are phenomenal. Because this, this weird shit is great. It's great. Am I yelling? I feel like I'm yelling. <laughs> Neighbors hate when this guy watches musicals. My windows are open too, actually. So anybody walking their dogs outside. Uh, what's the oopsie? Oh. My god! Okay. This shit is crazy. Alright guys, I think this is, that was ten, so we're halfway through, and I think we got one more piece for Act 1. And whether or not that's the case, that's what we're doing, because we do it how we want to do it on this channel! Let's go! said this was a full bar. How the hell am I supposed to make a Shirley Temple without any cherries? <laughs> Jesus Christ, Bill. Christ. It's the end of the world and you're gonna get your drink on with a Shirley fucking Temple? Well, if it's as serious as all that, I figured we might need a designated driver. <laughs> okay, so when the cops pull you over, you can pass their breathalyzer test before they infect you with their nasty blue shit? Come on! If you make one more crack at me, I am gonna do something to you. Oh yeah, Bill? What are you gonna do? I'm gonna kick your head. Don't do that. Oh. My head. Yeah. Not my ass. Yeah. All right then, let's see it, huh? Kick my head. Come on, Karate Champ! I want to see you kick above your waist, all right? Show me that roundhouse. Show me that sweeping crane kick that your kung fu master taught you. Okay, you two, calm down. Ted, Bill's not going to kick your head. Why not? It's the most vulnerable part of the body. That's what Sensei Bill taught me. Okay, it was a dumb threat. Stop rubbing it in. I'm sure if he could do it over again, he'd say ass. Uh-uh, uh-uh. You know, if you want to kill a snake, what do you do, huh? You cut off its head. Where is the fish rot from? The head. Take out the head and the whole thing goes down. That's why a fisherman always goes for the head. Ow, come on, Bill, come on. Give me that. Uh, come on. This is supposed to relax us, not make us kill each other. Whatever. Uh, why did I come back here? To, uh, drink? Back to Hatchetfield. I spent the first 18 years of my life trying to get out of this place. Should have just stayed in Guatemala. I mean, yeah, they've got volcanoes and cootamundis everywhere, but at what's least... What's a cootamundi? I was about to ask, what's a cootamundi? Oh, it's like a little raccoon thing. Now they get into shit, people hate them, but at least they don't sing and dance. Hey! So is that what drove you back to Hatchetfield? Cootamundis <laughs> up in your shit? No, no, it was uh, my sister, Jane. She was the good one. Yeah, she had this um, Lisa Frank binder when she was little where she mapped out her entire life and I <laughs> swear to God, she stuck to it. Bullet point by bullet point. It was like, job, husband, house, kid. And you know, when one sister's so on top of her game, it kind of demands that the other one be a total fuck up, right? What is yin without yang? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, man, she was off doing life, and I was doing something else. So backpacking, mostly. And she would call me and, you know, invite me home for the big events, you know, like weddings, baby showers. And I'd always say, oh, sorry, I'll catch the next one. But um, then when I got the invitation to her funeral, I was like, Ugh. oh. There won't be a next one. No. Oh. Shit. I'm sorry. Hey. That got dark. You didn't crash into her car. Fuck. Anyway, uh, it's weird growing up in someone else's shadow. I don't shadow like that part. Then that, when they're I don't gone, like that. That hurts. the light shines on your life for the first time, and it does not look good. So there I was, 30, with no roots anywhere except 
Patrick Beal. So I thought, well, um, I'm going to make something of myself, you know, and do something my sister would be proud of, enroll in community college, study botany. I'm going to start a pot farm. I knew it. <laughs> oh. Did your sister smoke a lot of pot? No. But weed's the future. It's going to be legal nationwide soon. Betcha any money. <laughs> That's true. Not that it matters anymore. It's true. Man. My whole life, my one goal was to avoid dying in Hatchetfield. And here we are. Hey, it could be worse. You could be dying in Clivesdale. Fuck Clivesdale. <laughs> Fuck Clivesdale. Fuck him. <laughs> I love it. You know, uh, all things considered, I like Hatchetfield. Mm. Yeah, I've been here my whole life, born and bred. Never wanted to leave. Thank you guys for the... I see you twisted. Yeah, we're the same age. How come I never knew you in high school? You probably went to Hatchetfield High. I went to Sycamore. Fucking Timberwolves! We hated you guys. We hated ourselves. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Feel that about high school. Uh, so, uh, back at Beanie's, you said you were in your high school production so of Brigadoon? I, I was Bunny Jean. Yeah, that was 2003, right? Mm -hmm. I actually saw you in Brigadoon. No shit. Yes shit. Yeah. Uh, yes, shit. We didn't have a theater program in our school, so I guess to make us feel like crap, they bust us over to watch your show. It was the first musical I ever saw. Hmm. I hated it. <laughs> That's probably the start of my whole thing. You're the reason I don't like musicals. <laughs> Whoa, that's like your origin story. Yeah. So I guess I'm the supervillain. I don't think of you like that at all, Emma. Listen, um, Paul. Oh my God. It, so it is time, it is time. to die. Are we half? I was about to get all caught up in that. I could tell we're half. Y'all, there's 120-ish of y'all in here right now. We are straight killing it. This show is awesome. I actually really like it. For a guy who doesn't like musicals, I actually really like it. Oh, this is the last song? I'm tripping. I'm tripping. Yeah, she's coming in hot. Listen, um, All right. Paul. Oh my God! Charlotte. 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 It is time <laughs> to die. Sorry to interrupt, but we got bones to pop. The time of chaos is long past over. Death is an obstacle. In fact, it's optimal. Your time is up, and now we go through you. We tried to convince you. Now we'll kill you with more than harmony. Just die. Join us and die. Charlotte. Join wow. us That's and weird. die. Join us and die. All you gotta do is. All you gotta do is. Join us and die. Join What's us wrong with him? and die. Join us and die. That's All you gotta do is. You know it's gonna go. So We're gonna kill you. You're gonna poop all that goop until your mouth will be food? Is that what it said? The fuck? Hold on. You're gonna poop all that goop until your mouth will be food? You're gonna poop all that goop until your. These lyrics are too deep, you guys. I can't. The bars! The fuck? I'm gonna. We're gonna kick your ass and then we're gonna kick your ass. You're gonna poop all that goop until your mouth will be food. The fuck? And, uh... <laughs> 
Shot a charlatan. <laughs> hey, that's about time. Uh, we needed that. The Charlotte you knew and loved was gone the minute a note came out of her mouth. After examining that blue shit, it didn't take long for me to decipher that Sam was no longer human, but part of the alien brew, genetically reconstructed from the inside out. They're wearing our skin to fool us. Which means any one of you could be one of them. Whoa, 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 whoa. So we're gonna have a little test to see who's still human and who's a musical <clears throat> doppelganger. Uh, what? I want you all to sing 16 bars right now. No, Professor. Professor, we're not aliens. Sing the beginning of Moana. What? what? Uh, I said sing, goddammit. Uh, uh, Moana. Moana. Make way, Moana. make way. Moana. Consider make the way. coconut. Oh, 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 consider oh, its tree. All right, that was terrible. <laughs> Not a single one of you were on pitch, which means you're still human. These things, their, their tactic is to hide amongst us, and as their numbers grow, they become more bold and, as we've seen, violent. Alice? Alice? Oh, thank God, I've never been more happy in my life. Your mother left me and moved you to Clivesdale. What? No, no, Alice, I saw you get on the bus to Clivesdale this morning. Fuck Clivesdale. What? Got off? Got off? To go see Deb? God damn it, Alice, if Deb jumped off a bridge, would you? Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I know you're scared. What, what, what's wrong with Deb? She's doing what? Alice, okay, listen to me. You get away from her, you understand? You get far away. No, this has nothing to do with me not liking Deb. Right now you need to run and hide, okay? Where are you? No, no, you stay there. I'm coming to you. No, no, don't, don't you say. Everything's going to be fine. I love you too. Damn. Give me, give me some bread and some water. I knew we were gonna need a designated driver. What's uh, happening, Bill? It's Alice, she's stuck in Hatchetfield. Dang it, I need to take the car. She's in Hatchetfield High, she's locked herself in the choir room. And you're gonna save her? G.I. Bill? I feel like I could you're gonna this guy. run and gun your way through a city of singing zombie motherfuckers? Wake up, Bill. Wake up, She's Bill. already dead. Don't you dare, You're Ted. gonna get there, and she's gonna be dead, and you're gonna die, too. And that's exactly what's gonna happen if you try to go back through downtown. Well, what else am I supposed to do? Don't go through downtown. Cut through Pinebrook. What? Pinebrook. Rich neighborhood, fancy houses, huge yards. Yes. Avoid densely populated areas. Now take Evergreen, cut through the park, hop a curb, and you're in the teacher's parking lot. Right, yes, and the window to the staff lounge is always open so they can smoke. Just slide in and out. It used to be my uh, old escape route. Okay, okay, this is a lot of directions. Don't bother, he's gonna get lost. You are such a fucking creep, you know that? Oh, I'm a fucking creep? Yeah. Yeah. 
I'm fucking creep. Listen, sweetheart, the world has changed, all right? There are no creeps, there are no heroes, there are only people who are alive and people who are fucking dead! I mean, he's got a point. And Bill's daughter? She's dead. What, I'm only saying what we all know is true, right, Paul? I know that the chances are slim to nil. And I know that Bill doesn't know the shortcut. Bill, if you go, you're not gonna make it. Which is why I'm gonna go with you to get your daughter back. You, you do that for me, Paul? Hey, it's not like you're asking me to go see Mamma Mia. <laughs> well, hey, let's go. If we haul ass, we can be there and back in 20 minutes. No, Emma, you stay here. I have a theory on how these aliens can be stopped, but I'll need an extra pair of hands in the lab. Paul, Bill, Godspeed. Um, hey, Paul, listen, if those things get you, they're gonna make you sing and dance and all that shit you hate. So don't you let them. Emma, there comes a time in every man's life when he has to draw a line in the sand. And I will never be in a fucking musical. <laughs> Awesome. So, I learned, yeah, the microphone is on his head. It's a tiny little thing right here. You guys, this is awesome. I want to finish it. I really do. But I already posted and told the world that we were going to do Act 2 tomorrow. So we're going to stick to the plan. I think next time I won't say that. I'll just say we'll start it tonight. But I want to, you know, I want to stick to the plan and do everything I told for everybody. You guys, this is super awesome. Tomorrow, I'm, I'm shooting for 10 a.m. Mountain Time. 10 a.m. Mountain Time to do the second half of this. This was so much fun. Every time we do a stream, guys, we get more people in the chat. I'm seeing 122 right now. It, it fluctuates, but I'm seeing 122, and I think that's the most we've had in the chat in a live stream for a musical. And that is so much fun. And I really appreciate you all choosing to spend a little bit of your time with me doing this. It's brand new to me. Just reading the chat, you guys are all so, uh, you're also obviously just on top of your game when it comes to this stuff. And it is such a treat for me. I feel that I have a, a unique viewing experience. You know, so many people go see their first musical or see a show for the first time. But the way that I get to experience this thing that is so popular in the world is, I think it's pretty unique. I don't, does anybody else do this? Is anybody else doing live musicals? I don't know, probably, but I'm having fun with it, and uh, and you guys are a joy to spend some time with. So thank you for all the positivity in the chat. Just it's it's nothing but positive vibes. There's no trolls. There's no hatred. There's no nothing. No bullshit going on in the chat. It's just everybody just having a good time, spending time with each other. So thank you all for making this such a wonderful place to hang out for each other, and for choosing to spend your time with me again. And I will see you guys tomorrow morning. Again, I'm planning to go live at 10 a.m. Mountain time tomorrow morning. I've got an alarm clock set in case, you know, that's pretty late. I should get up, no problem. But let's do it. We're going to finish this tonight, and then uh, we got falsettos next. And then after that, we'll see what comes up. I think it might be another Star Kid. What did I see? I saw something up here. It's hard to see all the chats. So whenever you guys send these super chats, they really stick out, and I'm able to check them out. And I can also go back and read them after the fact and make sure I caught everything. So that's a good way to do that. Thank you, everyone, for doing the super chats. I really appreciate you so, so much, and I promise you it's going to good use. So get on out of here, you people. Go have a good night. Tell somebody you love that you love them, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. And Allie, Denny, you're so welcome here. You're never alone. You're always welcome to hang out. Come join the Discord, everybody. I forgot. Come join the Discord. I'll put a link in the description of the video. Somebody can do this, but the Discord's awesome. It's just a bunch of good people in there, you know, sharing uh, 
sharing life experiences and jokes and funny things and enjoying each other's company. So come hang out with us. We'd love to have you.